Hello primary friends, welcome to singing time. Today we will need a few things for singing time. You will need a ball, a tennis ball. If you don't have a ball, you can take a piece of paper and crumple it up and make a ball that way. You'll also need two paper plates and you'll need this Joseph Smith's First Prayer handout that looks like this and that's in a PDF in your email and also a link in the show description below. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Let's get started. Sister Haywood asked me, Brother G.I. Joe, to come and sing a special song with you called Once There Was a Snowman. I love this song. It's one of my favorite primary songs so I thought I will sing it with you. You ready kids? I want you to be really tall and really small too. Once there was a snowman, snowman, snowman. Once there was a snowman, tall, tall, tall. In the sun he melted, melted, melted. In the sun he melted, small, small, small. Were you like a puddle on your floor? I hope you could get as small as I could. Thanks for letting me come visit. See you next time. Hasta la pasta. For this song, you will need a ball. You can use a tennis ball. You can even crumple up a piece of paper into a ball and sing this song with that. First, we're going to do this. Can you do that with your ball? Family history, I am doing it. My family history and the love I feel when I'm doing it is very sweet to me. I learn stories of my progenitors. I write their history. I keep records of my loved ones on my own family tree. Shall we try? Throwing it? Let's try that. Can you do that? Don't worry if you drop it. It's okay. I dropped it a couple of times when I was practicing. There we go. Family history, I am doing it. My family history and the love I feel when I'm doing it is very sweet to me. I learn stories of my progenitors. I write their history. I keep records of my loved ones on my own family tree. Okay, here's another one. We're gonna go like this. Can you do that? Sometimes it helps if you keep your eye on the ball watch it as it goes back and forth. Can you sing too? Family history, I am doing it. My family history and the love I feel when I'm doing it is very sweet to me. You doing it? I learned stories of my progenitors. I write their history. I keep records of my loved ones on my own family. Ah! On my own family tree. <laughs> it's okay if you drop it, just keep going. Part of family history is keeping your own record. Have you ever heard of writing in a journal or a diary? When I was a kid, I received a book, this one, all about me. And 
I think I was about 10 years old when I got this book and it's a journal. And I was looking through it and found some interesting things about my 10 year old self. Doing a little self family history there. I wrote about getting a haircut. <laughs> Tomorrow I get a haircut. Boy, it's in a big beauty parlor. I have never been in one. So that was kind of fun to see that. That was my first time getting my hair cut in a beauty salon. Um, and then I started at a new school. We moved from Colorado to California. And I wrote all about how scared I was to start school and the friends that I made, the friends that I missed in Colorado. Um, and here's January 14th, 1982. Today I did my book report. It's easy. My teacher writes out questions and you answer them. Easy peasy. I only got two wrong on my math test. I learned how to play hopscotch and four square. I'm going to read Freaky Friday. It's funny. I've read four chapters, but it's so fun to go back and look at things that you were thinking and doing. That's family history. I also um, had some different kinds of journals. I had this little book that I wrote in when, when I was in college. Whoops. And then when I started to have children, I just bought these little composition notebooks and there's a little feather that I found that I taped onto my book. Now I like to take notes of church meetings, of Sunday school and even of sacrament meeting. Um, and I, t I like to draw little pictures to go along with them and sometimes I even color the pictures. This was last week's church meeting I watched on Zoom and I took notes while um, Sister Frankum was giving the Relief Society lesson. And also I took notes on Sister Evan's talk and Brother Church's talk too. And that's a form of family history. I can go back all the years that I've taken notes like this and see who spoke at church, who taught at church and what their message was. That is also family history. Alrighty, for this song you're going to need two paper plates. Here we go. If you don't have paper plates, you can just use your hands. We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to sing Search, Ponder, and Pray. I love to read the Holy Scriptures and every time I do, I feel the Spirit start to grow within my heart, a testimony that they're true. Good job. Now for the chorus, when we sing, search, ponder, and pray, we're going to tap our shoulder once and then our leg three times. So we, it ends up being four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can do this side too. Let's try it with the song. Search, ponder, and pray are the things Spirit will guide and deep inside I'll know the scriptures are true. Can we put it all together? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's give it a go. I love to read the holy scriptures and every time I do I feel the Spirit start to grow within my heart, a testimony that they're true. 
remember this. Search, ponder, and pray are the things that I must do. The Spirit will guide and deep inside. I'll know the scriptures are true. Okay, let's try the second verse. So here's the second verse. We go patch, patch, tap, tap, shoulder, and then wiggle it around to be a shimmer. Patch, patch, tap, tap, shoulder, shimmer. Patch, patch, tap, tap, shoulder, shimmer. So prayerfully I'll read the scriptures each day my whole life through. I'll come to understand, I'll heed the Lord's command, and live as He would have me do. And then we'll go back to the chorus. But let's do the second verse one more time. It's patch, patch, tap, tap, shoulder, shimmer. You just wiggle it around like that. So prayerfully I'll read the scriptures Each day my whole life through I'll come to understand I'll heed the Lord's command And live as He would have me do So can we combine that with Search, ponder, and pray Let's do that. So prayerfully I'll read the scriptures Each day my whole life through I'll come to understand I'll heed the Lord's command And live as He would have me do Search, ponder, and pray are the things that I must do. The Spirit will guide and deep inside I'll know the scriptures are true. From the very top, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I love to read the Holy Scriptures and every time I do, I feel the Spirit start to grow within my heart. A testimony that they're true. Search, ponder, and pray are the things that I must do. The Spirit will guide and deep inside I'll know the scriptures are true. Second verse. So prayerfully I'll read the scriptures Each day my whole life through I'll come to understand I'll heed the Lord's command And live as He would have me do Search, ponder, and pray Are the things that I must do The Spirit will guide And deep inside I'll know the scriptures are true Woo! Good job! For this song, you'll need this handout. What we're going to do with it is listen to the last verse of Joseph Smith's first prayer. For the first verse we sang about when Joseph went into the woods to pray. Oh, how lovely was the morning, radiant beamed the sun above. Remember that? We drew it. And then the next thing that we did was we looked at, or we made, hopefully you made, a diorama of the, when, the, when Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ came down and there was the light beaming down from heaven. 
In this last verse, Joseph hears Heavenly Father's voice. And there's a lot of big words and fancy words that we don't use every day in this verse. So as you listen to this verse, I want you to look at your paper. And as you're listening, choose which line is actually in the song. All of these lines mean the same thing, but only one of them are the exact words that are in the song. I will do this with you so it will make more sense. And then we can listen to the whole song all the way through and listen to the Joseph Smith story in song. Let's look at the words together. These, some of these are the exact words to the fourth verse of Joseph Smith's first prayer. But not all of them. Let's look at this first group. Joseph, this is my beloved. Joseph, behold my son Jesus. Joseph, see my dear son Jesus. Each of these phrases it all means the same thing, but there's only one phrase that is the exact words to the song. We're doing this so that we can understand what the words mean to this verse. Because there's some words and phrases that we don't use every day, and this will help us to understand. Let's look at the, the next group of words. Listen to what he will say. Listen, what a happy sound. Hear him. Oh, how sweet the word. They all mean the same thing, but only one of those lines is actually the exact words to that fourth verse. Next group. God replied to Joseph's prayer. Joseph's humble prayer was answered. Heavenly Father answered Joseph's prayer. Let's go on to the next phrase. And he listened to the Lord. Joseph heard Heavenly Father's voice. Joseph heard God speak to him. Joseph's heart was filled with light and joy. He felt happiness in his heart. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom! For he saw the living God. Heavenly Father came to him. He saw God and Christ his Son. I'm going to sing the song now. And as you listen to the words, I want you to circle the line that is actually the exact words to the song. Okay. Joseph, this is my beloved. Hear him, oh, how sweet the word. Joseph's humble prayer was answered, and he listened to the Lord. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw the living God. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw the living God. All right, let me sing it again with you and we'll check to see if we found the exact words in the song. First line is, Joseph, this is my beloved. So in this group, do you see, Joseph, this is my beloved. I see it right here. It's that first one, so I'm going to circle it. But this also means, Joseph, behold my son Jesus. Joseph, see my dear son Jesus. Those mean the same thing as that first line there. Let's go on to the next one. Hear him, oh, how sweet the word. Okay. Hear him, oh, how sweet the word. It's that one right there. Whoa. <laughs> Kind of a wonky little circle I made there. Okay. 
Joseph's humble prayer was answered. Hmm. Joseph's humble prayer was answered. I think I see it. I think I see it in the middle there. Yep. Joseph's humble prayer was answered. That means Heavenly Father answered Joseph's prayer. It also means God replied to Joseph's prayer. Okay, let's go on. Joseph's humble prayer was answered, and he listened to the Lord. And he listened to the Lord. Hmm. I think I see it on the, um, because it starts with, and he listened. I can see it quite clearly right here. And he listened to the Lord. That means Joseph heard Heavenly Father's voice and Joseph heard God speak to him. Okay. Joseph he listened to the Lord. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom. Now that's a weird phrase that we don't say <laughs> usually in our everyday conversation. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom. Let's see if we can find it in the next grouping of words. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom. Well, I see the word oh. There it is. So I know it's going to be that one on the bottom there. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom. Now, what does that mean? It means that Joseph's heart was filled with light and joy. And it also means he felt happiness in his heart. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom. Next line. For he saw the living God. Hmm. For he, for he saw the living God. I am going to look for the word for. Do you see the word for on that? Uh, it's right there, huh? Good. And that also means Heavenly Father came to him. He saw God and Christ, his son. They, they mean all the same things. So let me sing it through one more time. And we'll look at our words that we circled. Joseph, this is my beloved. Hear him, oh, how sweet the word. Joseph's humble prayer was answered, and he listened to the Lord. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw the living God. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw the living God. And there you have it. Now I'm going to play a music video for you of the entire song. And you can listen to it and think of all the different activities we did with all of those verses. Oh, how lovely was the morning, radiant beam the sun above. Bees were humming, sweet birds singing, music ringing through the grove. When within the shady woodland, Joseph sought the God of love. When within the shady woodland, Joseph sought the God of love. Humbly kneeling, sweet appealing, 
Twas the boy's first honored prayer When the powers of sin assailing Filled his soul with deep despair But untaunted still he trusted In his heavenly Father's care But undaunted still trusted in his heavenly father's care suddenly a light descended brighter far than noonday sun and a shining glorious pillar o'er him fell around him while appeared to heavenly beings God the Father and the Son While appeared to heavenly beings God the Father and the Son If this is my beloved, hear him. Joseph's humble prayer was answered, and he listened to the Lord. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw. Thank you so much for joining me for Singing Time today. We had a lot of fun, again. We sang family history, I am doing it, my family history. And we learned that writing in our journals and our diaries can also be a way of doing family history. Someday you'll have kids who will read about you when you were 10 and nine and eight and 28. We also used our paper plates to sing Search, Ponder, and Pray. I enjoyed that too. And we talked about what the fourth verse of Joseph Smith's first prayer means. There's a lot of fancy words in that verse, but we understood what they meant by doing this activity together. And now, it's time to sing I Am a Child of God with Sister Butterfly. And again, she's hiding and I cannot find her. Do you see her anywhere in the room? Can you help me to find her? Maybe she's behind me somewhere. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Oh, I think I see her over there. Sister Butterfly, you want to come sing? There she is. She's ready to sing now. Get your butterfly wings going and if you have your butterfly that you made you can pull that out and sing with us today i am a child of god and he has sent me here has given me an earthly home with parents kind and dear Lead me, guide me, walk beside me, help me find the way. Teach me all that I must do to live with him someday. 
Oh, thank you for singing with us again, Sister Butterfly. And thank you for singing with me today. I hope you know that Heavenly Father loves you so, so much. And I love you too. And I'll see you next time. Mwah!